This example will show how to calculate a confidence interval for an unknown population mean with a known population standard deviation. Suppose scores on exams and statistics are normally distributed with an unknown population mean and a population standard deviation of three points. A random sample of 36 scores is taken and gives a sample mean of 68. Find a 95% confidence interval for the true population mean of statistics exam scores. Let's first record the given information. The population standard deviation is three and therefore sigma equals three. The sample size is 36 and therefore n equals 36. The sample mean is 68 and therefore x bar equals 68. And the confidence level is 95% and therefore CL equals 0 0.95. Now looking at our notes, the first step is to calculate the sample mean, which in this case was given to us. Step two, we need to find the z-score that corresponds to the confidence level, which in this case is 95%. Let's take a look at this on the next slide. If we take a look at the interval under the standard normal distribution that corresponds to the confidence interval, the area under the curve must be equal to 0 0.95, the confidence level. And then from here, remember alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level, which gives us alpha equals 0 0.05. So if we take alpha and divide by two, we can find the remaining areas on the left and right outside the confidence interval and alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.025, which gives us the area to the left and right outside the confidence interval. The z-score we are looking for is this z-score here, which we indicate as z sub 0 0.025. On the left, the z-score would be negative z sub 0 0.025. And now to find this z-score using technology, you need to know the area to the left of this z-score which we can see is equal to 0 0.95 plus 0 0.025, which we can also always find by taking one and subtracting alpha divided by two, which in this case is 0 0.025. So let's make a note here, the area to the left is 0 0.975. And now we will find z sub 0 0.025 using the TI-84 as well as Desmos.com. Going to the TI-84, we press second vars for the distribution menu, option three for inverse norm. Area is the area to the left, which we know is 0 0.975. Enter. Because we're using the standard normal distribution to find the z-score, the mean is zero. Enter. The standard deviation is one. Enter. Enter and enter. The z-score is approximately 1.96. Let's also show how to find this using Desmos.com. Using Desmos.com, we click show keypad, click functions, click the distributions tab, click inverse CDF, click functions, click normal distribution. For the standard normal distribution, the mean is zero, comma, standard deviation is one, right arrow, comma, the area to the left is 0 0.975, enter, and we get the same result, approximately 1.96. So now going back to our work, we know the z-score we need is z sub 0 0.025, which is approximately 1.96. The next step is to calculate the error bound, which is the z-score times the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So the error bound is equal to 1.96 times, the population standard deviation is three, divided by the square root of the sample size, which gives us the square root of 36. Square root of 36 is six, and therefore this fraction simplifies the one half. 1 1.96 times one half is equal to 0 0.98. Now that we have the error bound, we can construct the confidence interval which is x bar minus the error bound, two x bar plus the error bound. So the confidence interval is from 68 minus 0 0.98 to 68 plus 0 0.98, which gives a confidence interval from 67.02 to 68.98. The last step is to write a sentence to interpret the results. So what we can say 
is that we estimate with 95% confidence that the true population mean of exam scores is between 67.02 and 68.98. Before we go, I want to share this table here that does give the approximate z-score for a specific confidence level. I hope you found this helpful.